My name is Jeremiah Eister and my major is industrial design. I started my college career at Penn State where I studied mechanical engineering. I reached a point there where I started feeling like a human calculator. Eventually I realized that that major wasn't for me and that school wasn't for me and I left and I was just watching the show How It's Made. When I saw that, I was like, that's what I want to do. That's what I've been saying this whole time I want to do. I want to be the broad idea person. So I started doing research into it. Through that, I found that RIT was one of the top schools for that field. Pretty much every project I do is fun at some point. Like, there's parts that'll get difficult and a little bit frustrating in every project, but for the most part, every project is a whole lot of fun for me. Some of the funnest projects are actually the ones that are most challenging. Uh, one of those, I think, is when I made a model of a smart car. I really enjoyed that, and that concept was for a smart car that has an adjustable wheelbase that can extend and um, shrink based on the situation, whether it needs high performance and high speeds on the highway, or um, short wheelbase for parking. I participated in a Mr. RIT competition with a sorority on campus, and it was in support of uh, Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. And um, I won, in the end I won and became Mr. RIT, but all of the contestants together, we were able to raise um, a significant amount of money for Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. A bunch of my hobbies are kind of adventure hobbies. I like to explore, whether it's uh, in the city or in nature, just go out to places that I haven't seen before and, and places that are kind of a challenge to explore are all the more fun. So, oh, can't forget drumming. It's been one of my biggest hobbies since fifth grade. I've been a drummer, so enjoy meeting up with other drummers that I've met in Rochester in the school and outside of the school. We just go all, all different places. There's some woods by RIT. That's one of my favorite spots because it just sounds so nice. One time we got together and played drums underneath the Sentinel statue and we played underneath that on a Sunday. There weren't any classes, though we did make a big disturbance. A few good qualities about this campus just in general regardless of what your major are, is it's a really uh, accepting place compared to other schools. I attribute a lot of that to the NTID school being here, and that just opens up for a lot of acceptance for people with all types of um, backgrounds. 